Hello Capricorn, welcome to a bonus love reading. We're gonna be looking at what your person is currently thinking or feeling about you. What do you need to know about their intentions towards you? As always, keep in mind that these readings are general, so they cannot and will not resonate with every Capricorn watching. So take what resonates, what applies to you. And let's jump right in for Capricorn, Spirit, Angel, Sky. Guidance messages. It's like you have what Capricorn. Oh my God, the person they're thinking about or connecting with at this time. What do we need to know about this person's energies towards Capricorn? What do we need to know about this person's energies towards Capricorn? What do we need to know? Okay, Capricorn. Let's see what we get for you. Six of Cups, all right. Seven of Swords and the Star, Aquarius Energy. <laughs> oh man, Capricorn. Oh man, oh man, oh man. Well, you could be dealing with the Aquarius, but what I'm getting is that this person, I'm getting a few messages. So the first message I'm getting with the Seven of Swords is almost like they're watching you secretly, keeping tabs on you, seeing how you're doing, thinking of you, wanting to be like strategic, um, maybe they're thinking about, you know, healing something with you with the star. Bottom of the deck, we have the Ace of Swords. So they could be communicating with you, having an important conversation with you. Let's see what else we get before I clarified. Six of Cups. I think they think of the past with you. Whatever history you have with this person was a good one for them. They probably are um, also thinking about their past actions. And, you know, I really hope this isn't one of those readings where it's someone that just wants to make up for, you know, the way they treated you. So let's see what else we get. Let me not get ahead of myself. Can I get some energies, please, for Capricorn regarding this person's thoughts, feelings, energies towards Capricorn? Reach out. Take the initiative to reach out. So, yeah, I think there's a message coming your way here. Cold shoulders, someone's feeling shut out. Yeah, and they could be reaching out after um, some silence, after not having any sort of contact with you. Yeah, love letter, a special message is on its way. Definitely contacting you. And I think it's gonna be a little bit out of the blue here with cold shoulder, because I feel like maybe there wasn't a lot of action or contact between you. This person could even be thinking that they wanna come back in because they're out in the cold. Let's see what else we got. What else do we need to know about this person's energy source, Capricorn? And Capricorn, if you're interested in any of the Oracle decks that I'm using today, they're all my own decks, and I have all the information on them on my website, which is linked below in the description box. Tell me more about this person. What do we need to know about this person? Oh, we got three. Sensitive, responsive, and perceptive youthful, lighthearted and playful and renewal, clean slate and healing. Okay, so yeah, I feel like this person wants to renew or heal something with you. They they basically hide behind humor, they hide behind immaturity or a childlike way of like behaving. Um, because for some reason they get away with more that way, or it kind of makes things easier to handle for them, or like it just kind of, um, takes the brunt out of what they say or do. I don't know if that's the right term, but I'm, I'm picturing someone who lacks confidence and hides behind, you know, playfulness, humor, and this like childlike mentality or... Um, way of like doing life <laughs> or relationships perhaps it's just in relationships they're definitely wanting to communicate so let's see what else we get when we clarify down here what do they have to say for Capricorn for Capricorn what do we have to say Tell me about the Six of Cups. 
Tell me about the Six of Cups. What do we need to know about the Six of Cups? Yep, Five of Pentacles. Tell me about the Six of Cups. This person's out in the cold or feels left behind, abandoned. The Emperor, Aries energy. Tell me about the Six of Cups. Six of Pentacles and the Page of Swords. I'm telling you, they're watching you. They're observing you. They're not over what happened in the past. Whatever the past, the past has a hold on this person. Three of Swords. Yeah, and it's like they're watching you and it's like they're not really happy about it or they're just heartbroken over what they're seeing. Um, maybe they're heartbroken over the position that they find themselves in, right? Like, why am I out in the cold out here by myself when I should be with Capricorn? How do I balance things out? Six of Pentacles. The Emperor is a doer. So the Emperor is not somebody that just sits around, plans, and never does anything. That's why I think the love letter and reach out energies are here. Because this Page of Swords is telling me this person is not only observing you, but might want to talk to you. Tell me about this Page of Swords. Yeah, the Magician. Tell me about the Page of Swords. What do we need to know about this Page of Swords? Four of Pentacles and Judgment. Okay, so they might be just wanting to be, yeah, having a second chance with you. Empress showed up here at the bottom of the deck. So you are their person. In their mind, you are their person. They're holding on to this idea. Holding on to the past. Holding on to you. Why is the Seven of Swords here? Why is the Seven of Swords here? Three of Swords. Why is the Seven of Swords here? Okay, I just heard I was stupid. Yeah, Five of Swords. This person, they they have a lot to blame for what happened, Capricorn. Or at least they feel they do. Yeah, Death, Scorpio energy. Because even though they still loved you and had feelings for you, things ended. Death. There's the Four of Swords and the Hermit. And yeah, the Seven of Swords. Virgo energy with the Hermit. And for whatever reason, this person, they cannot move past their stupidity you know or whatever actions they took that they regret you know it's like they think about it all the time four of swords the hermit like constantly because it cost them I, I mean i'm speaking to a capricorn where you could have shut this person out thrown them out cut off contact i mean and this person's kind of like why was i so Stupid. They could have been also young and immature, and that's why youthful is here. But I don't know. Tell me about this star. From the comments that I've gotten on other Capricorn videos, a lot of you are over this person that keeps coming up. And I think this is somebody who, maybe because of their immaturity, they haven't pulled the trigger and keep coming up because... I'm speaking to a Capricorn where they haven't reached out yet. So yeah, it's it's if 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 the message is repeating, it's because the action hasn't been taken. Tell me about the star. Why is the star here? Hope, faith, renewal, strength, Leo energy. Why is the star here? The devil. There you are, Capricorn. Capricorn energy with the devil. Tell me about the star. Oh my god, the tower. Tell me about the star. Nine of cups. Yeah. Um, yeah. They want to come in and heal the situation. It's possibly going to be a tower. Maybe they've had a tower in their life that has led them to this realization. Because the tower could also be like a sudden realization. Um, or maybe they're going to be surprising you with this message because you know they're coming to you with this ten of wands knight of wands energy so it's almost like you know i can't keep carrying this burden anymore i have to do something about this and king of pentacles tells me that they're being very considerate in the approach that they take because the king of pentacles does not want to just be like knight of wands energy just because let's look at this tower tell me more about this tower Tell me more about this tower. Yeah, I think it's going to surprise you that they still care and want to fix this temperance, Sagittarius energy with the four of wands at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, 
I think it's going to surprise you. This person could have uh, fire in their chart, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, because all of them have shown up here. Let me get some more insight into this person's energy towards Capricorn. Okay. I'm afraid. Yeah, that, this person can act tough all they want. They can act like an emperor all they want, but they have been thinking about this for a while and haven't pulled the trigger. Can I get one more energy, please, for Capricorn? You're always on my mind. Yeah, they're always thinking about you. I desire you. I mean, this is someone that, like I was saying, like not two minutes ago, that they're constantly thinking about this uh, situation. So what are their intentions towards you? What are their intentions? Towards Capricorn spirit. What is this person's intentions? Towards Capricorn. What are their intentions? Towards Capricorn. What do we need to know? About their intentions. Towards Capricorn. What do we need to know? Okay. King of Swords, Strength, and Ace of Wands. Yeah, so King of Swords, because they have something to say. Expect that message is coming because this is somebody that they're constantly thinking about what to tell you. Eight of Pentacles. I think that this person hides their fear under, oh, I'm not ready. I still need to do this. I still need to do that. I have to prove to Capricorn this and that. I have to like look good, you know, change my hair, change my job, you know, move into a better apartment, you know. It's almost like they're all excuses. Excuses to kind of like drag their feet, that kind of energy. But this King of Swords is very direct, honest, open. Tell me about the King of Swords. Yeah. Clarity. Tell me about the King of Swords. Let's clear the air. I'm going to be completely... All the cards are on the table, Capricorn. Tell me about the King of Swords. By the way, this is resonating. Let me know in the comments. I love hearing from you guys. Queen of Pentacles. I, can I get one more? One more for a King of Swords. Yeah. I still love you. I have good intentions towards you. I want to work on things, build things um, with you. A strong foundation. Yeah, Knight of Cups. I'm genuine. This person, I mean, I don't think that they're lying to you, Capricorn. I just think that maybe, I don't know. Maybe it's a little too late in your mind. I don't know. I'm just going by some of the comments I've gotten in Capricorn readings recently. Tell me about strength. This person is building up courage because they don't got it. Tell me about strength. Yeah, the Wheel of Fortune. When the time is right, I'm going to show up. Capricorn, just wait for it. I'm going to show up. Yep, and I'm going to have my Empress. I'm going to make things right with my Empress. Justice at the bottom of the deck. What's this Ace of Wands about? I mean, we already know, but... Let's just get it out here. Tell me about the Ace of Wands. Eight of Pentacles. Yeah. I'm willing to work on things. I'm willing to put in effort. I'm willing to show you that I mean what I say. Yeah. Queen of Swords. Bottom of the deck. Ace of Swords. The Ace of, I mean, Ace of Cups and the Nine of Swords. So I feel like this person, I don't know. It's almost like the way they feel scares them. Because when you are in love, you're vulnerable. And this person's not used to feeling vulnerable. They're not used to being the one that comes to this to the other person, you know? I think that you were different or are different. I got one more energy for this person that Capricorn is, has, or will be dealing with. Can I get one more energy, please? What do we need to know about this person? One more energy from this person, my Capricorn. Let's see what we need to know. We need to know about this person's energies. The grass wasn't greener on the other side. If you're dealing with a Virgo, watch the Virgo reading of this, um, how they feel. Because Virgo also got this. The grass wasn't greener on the other side. Bottom of the deck. I have kept my true feelings buried deep. 
out of fear. I'm telling you, this person always, you're always on their mind, but they're terrified. They're, they're terrified to reveal their true feelings. And it's because the grass wasn't greener. So it makes sense. They weren't successful outside of you and they're going to have to come to you with vulnerability and with their tail between their legs. That's not a fun place to be. So I don't blame them for wanting to drive that out as much as possible. So that's what I have for you, Capricorn. I hope you enjoyed this bonus reading. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already. It really helps me out a lot and it's a free way of supporting what I do here on YouTube. Thank you so much to everyone who takes the 10 seconds out of their day to do that. I really appreciate it and hopefully I'll see you all in another video very soon. Take care.